Let's make something. If you've ever been to a Comic-Con or gaming expo, you've definitely seen some amazing cosplay. It's been a while since I've made any costumes myself, but every once in a while I'll get the itch to make something like this Mario mask I made from scratch. In 2016, Capcom released this Mega Man wearable helmet. It's pretty cool and it looks great in any game room. My one issue with it isn't actually the helmet itself, it's me. Rather, my face inside the helmet. For one reason or another, it's a little disturbing for me to see a Mega Man costume that's so close and accurate to the original design of the character, yet you have this non-animated human face looking at you. So today, I'm going to try to make a Mega Man face mask to go with this helmet and hopefully prevent my dumb face from scaring any children should I wear this at a convention. But before we start, I need to go get some clay. Be right back. So we got our clay, let's go ahead and prep the table. All right, here's the plan, so. I'm going to be sculpting Mega Man's face onto the actual helmet itself for a perfect fit because once I bake it, I want it to harden the way I need it to to go back onto the mask and fit perfectly. I don't want any large gaps over here. So the helmet itself is lined with a kind of plush fabric uh, that Velcro sticks really well to. So I'm going to be using these Velcro pads that I got and I'll attach those to the actual mask after it's baked. And that way I can put on the mask and take it off whenever I want and uh, it won't damage the helmet at all. The actual sculpt itself is gonna be modeled off of this figure that I have of classic Mega Man from Sentinel. It is the most accurate Mega Man figure I have ever seen. The face is perfect, the helmet's perfect. It looks exactly like animated Mega Man. I'm lucky that I have this figure because it's a lot easier to sculpt something while looking at a 3D model rather than an image of something. So let's get started with prepping the helmet. Okay, not bad. So next we're going to get the polymer clay and lay a base layer over the sheet of tin foil where we want the edges of the mask to be. And for that, I'm gonna need a printout of Mega Man's face. So I'll be right back. Okay, got it. So now we're gonna use this to help us guide where we want the eyes and the mouth and the cheeks to be on the helmet. Um, let me cut this up so it'll make more sense. Here it is. Okay, so now you'll be able to see a little easier. 
this is what we're gonna do basically. We're gonna line this up to help guide where we want it to be, kinda like that. All right, let's get sculpting. Okay, so while I'm sculpting this, I realize that the clay is too soft. And even though I packed it, the helmet, with a bunch of stuff to sculpt onto, it just, it pushes in too easily. And it's kind of like, kind of feels like I'm sculpting onto a sponge. So what I'm going to do is bake this first layer and let that harden. And then I'm going to put it back onto the helmet and sculpt over that. So hopefully, you know, that will give me some more rigidness to sculpt over and then I can, then I'll bake that together too. So hopefully that'll still stick. But for now, let's bake this. Hi, Future Daxel here. It's been a few days since, well, more than a few days since I had to stop working on this. You see, after I put the clay in the oven to harden so I could more easily sculpt over it, I stupidly decided to stress test it by bending it slightly and it broke in two. And yeah, it wasn't pretty. But I took it like a champ. You know, had a good attitude about it, didn't cry over it, so all in all I'm, I'm pretty proud of the way I handled it. Since then I've glued this back together, fixed it, and thought about what I've done. Our next move is going to be sanding down the edges of the clay and getting it ready for the final sculpt. Hopefully I won't make a mess. I'm probably going to make a mess. Okay, I think I'm done. I've been sculpting this for hours, and I think I've got the shape I like. Uh, but here's the final sculpt. What do you guys think? Good. Looks like classic Mega Man a bit. I think after I paint it, it's gonna look a lot better. Okay, now for the hard part. We're going to remove this mask, remove the clay from the helmet, without it warping or changing its shape, and then putting it in the oven and baking it. Here goes nothing. Come on, you can do this. Steady. Okay. I think we're good. Okay, here we go. It all comes down to this. I'm gonna put this in the oven for about an hour. The oven's set for 275. There goes nothing. Whew. 
Wish me luck, guys. Dun 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 dun. It's done. Two hours in the oven, and it is ready. Kind of looks a little creepy now, but hear me out. It's it's probably gonna look better later. Uh, it's got all this weight back here that we're gonna shave down. I think what I'm gonna do first is smooth out the front, sand the front, then work on the eyes, because we wanna position the eyes. Now my idea for the eyes, making it out of foam, cutting it out of foam, and then painting that, because I kinda wanna layer a separate layer from the mask sticking out, just like to separate the eye from the face a little bit more. A couple eyes just to show you. <laughs> Metal water bottle. Uh, I've already cut up a couple eyes just to show you what it should look like. So I just cut these out of the picture. And then it should look like that. Well, here is the painted mask. Now, it's a little glossy because the paint is still wet. It's actually gonna take about 12 to 24 hours to cure. So it looks like we'll be continuing this tomorrow. Anyway, I'm exhausted. I'm ready to take a break, take a shower, <laughs> and uh, finish this tomorrow. So, see you then. That's better. Good morning, everyone. So, what do we have? We've got our cured Mega Man mask, uh, which I didn't film the process of painting because it's just tan colored spray paint and I was afraid of getting paint on the camera. So, we also have the spray painted white eyes that we'll be using right here with the pupils cut out and the mesh in the back. See that? What we're gonna do next is we're gonna lightly trace these onto the mask. Kinda looks something like this. I know it looks kinda disturbing. <laughs> but we're gonna trace these onto the mask, trace where the pupils are, because that's what I'll be seeing out of, and that way we'll know where to cut the mask. Um, we're also going to shave the excess weight from the back, making it thinner, getting some of this weight off, because it's like, Two pounds already. Right, right. After we do that, we'll attach the eyes with glue. Paint over them. the mask. <laughs> I never thought it would be this hard. I never thought I would get this injured with my hands. I've shed sweat and blood over this thing. I'm so happy it's done. I can't wait to see it on the helmet. But first, we need to clean up because this, this is messy. I gotta clean up.
Wow. Who knew this mask was going to take such a long and difficult time? I'm so happy with how it turned out, I almost forget about all the hard work I put into it. Almost. Well, if there's one thing I learned from this project, it's that I always choose the most difficult ways to do things. One thing about me is I will learn as I go, honestly. I'll have an idea in my head to make something, and most of the time I bite off more than I can chew or think it's gonna be easy, and it ends up being where this takes several days to make. But I am so happy. It looks awesome. Looks just like Mega Man. But if you enjoyed watching me struggle, consider subscribing so you can enjoy more of that. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Take care, I'll see you on the next one.